It is a thrill. I love this show. You're telling me a big fat lot. I was hoping for funny crazy. I will get on stage on Broadway and I will reenact the rantings of Charlie Sheen one day. Think you can replace me with some other guy? Go ahead. It won't be the same. It is mightiest in the mightiest. Do not bring Shakespeare into this. You're so smart. Oh, really? Well, so are you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Yesterday, another woman came forward claiming that Bill Cosby sexually assaulted her. However, the outcome of this allegation may end differently. The alleged incident happened in 2008, meaning that Cosby could be charged and prosecuted since the case may fall within the statute of limitations. The latest accuser, Chloe Goines, recounts a similar tale to the 20-plus women who have previously stepped forward. Goines was an 18-year-old model who met Cosby at the Playboy Mansion in 2008. She claimed that Cosby drugged her and brought her to a bedroom, where when she regained consciousness, the comedian was naked beside her in bed. If she chooses to pursue the case, she could potentially bring both civil and and criminal charges against the comedian. The Milwaukee Brewers have something called the Timeless Ticket. The idea is that for $1,000, you get a one-pound copper ticket, which can be redeemed for any future Brewers game. That's any game, including a potential Game 7 of a World Series. And now the team has updated the Timeless Ticket, giving the owner the added opportunity to redeem it for a ticket to nine additional Brewers home games. Only 1,000 Timeless Tickets tickets will be produced. Hey, the Oscar nominations were announced yesterday, and once again, no love for Rob Schneider. Retailers may be gearing up for Valentine's Day, but before that, they're looking forward to the sales boost the Super Bowl gives them. For instance, the plastic bowl I'm buying at Walmart this weekend, it's special. It will hold 48 gallons of salsa. Mitt Romney's wife doesn't want him to run for president again. Can you blame her? Ripped to pieces hundreds of times a day by the media, and that's just on The View. Two Americans, Tommy Caldwell and Kevin Jorgensen, became the first to free climb Yosemite's 3,000-foot wall El Capitan. Yes, they trained really hard. They practiced by scaling Peyton Manning's forehead. After 25 years, and Curry is leaving NBC. Yes, to scale El Capitan. A 94-year-old dude in California couldn't get his foot off the gas and went through a car wash at about 40 miles per hour. His car ripped up equipment and did about $100,000 worth of damage. Yeah, but ain't nobody messing with him back at his senior living facility. What? I can't have a second helping of mashed potatoes? You wait right here, Sonny, while I go get my car. VH1 Classic will air a 19-day marathon of Saturday Night Live episodes. That's 433 hours of SNL, or about 25 funny sketches. Europe is making plans for the day that Earth might be hit by an asteroid, which is why the rest of the world is suffering through a toilet paper shortage. And a Delta flight this week took off from Cleveland to New York with just two passengers aboard. And yet, Delta still managed to run out of peanuts. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out The Being Frank Show starring Frank D'Angelo, live Tuesdays and Thursdays here on NSS at 3 p.m. Eastern.